Hello, Lily. This is Lily. She's our new addition. She's butted up against Augie, but they don't have access to each other the, other than through the bars. She's still quite the nervous girl. She doesn't go nuts over the veggies like Augie does, Bella. But she loves her hay. She's bigger than Augie is, but she's so super sweet. She can be picked up. She likes to nuzzle under your neck when you hold her. She's still very skittish otherwise, so just kind of giving her some time to get used to things. Augie and her have sniffed each other and talked to each other and... Hi, hi, Lily. Oh, she went the other way. She's back over here. <laughs> hi, Ogs. I gotta sweep out your cages. I do. Gotta sweep it out. Lily's making noise. Lily's making noise. She's trying to get Augie's hay. <laughs> you got your own hay, girly girl. She's super sweet. And I don't know if we're taking on Desi and uh, Comet, because I haven't heard anything else. Um, and honestly, it really is okay, because I don't know right now where I'd put them. But um, if she figures anything else out, out for where they'll go, that's fine too. I'm perfectly happy having these two. So, <laughs> you like her, don't you? Yes, look at Bella loves having guinea pigs. <laughs> yeah. All right, just wanted to introduce you to little Miss Lily. She's enjoying some hay. She's got a cucumber and a carrot in her hide. But again, I think she's just too nervous. And maybe I don't think she's used to having veggies. And Augie was the same way. He really didn't go nuts over the veggies at first. But now he loves them. Whoop! She got nervous. <laughs> Hey, Ox. Having a cucumber. <laughs> All right. Oh, you're eating your cucumber. She's finally eating her cucumber. So guys, I was going through the bag of stuff that they sent with Lily. And really, there was not a lot. Of, one of the things was a bag of these twigs, which these are great. Good for your uh, chewing on and, you know, wearing down those teeth. But a lot of the stuff in here in the bag was awful like let's go with look at the hay on the floor you guys <laughs> these uh sunburst gourmet natural treats veggie sticks um not good and you would think crunchy beets carrots and alfalfa but for one alfalfa is high in calcium and you don't want your guinea pigs to have high calcium um 
This, I moved this because this was on the ingredients. The first ingredient is ground corn. First off, rabbits. They can't have grains. You don't say. <laughs> Gotta stop for some oggy action. Really, Oggs? You don't say. <laughs> Hi. What's up, Magoo? I gave you a stick. You just want to attack my hand. go. He wants to go up where my fingers are. You do what the dogs do. I want the side of the toy that your fingers are on. <laughs> hey! <laughs> anyway, so the, the back of this is ground corn, which is not good for either of them. Um, hamsters, yes. Hamsters can, well, this is not even a hamster. This is something else. Um, I guess it's for guinea pigs, rabbits, and chinchillas, which I'm not sure about chinchillas. I haven't researched chinchillas and what they can eat, but ground corn is not good for guinea pigs or rabbits. Ground wheat, I would say again, because it's a grain. And then sun-cured alfalfa meal. Well, the alfalfa is the thing that's high in calcium. Hi, Lily. Hi, Lily girl. Hi, Lils. Look at the mess. I gotta clean it up. Lots of poop. <laughs> gotta clean it up. And that's just since yesterday, you guys. <laughs> okay. She's got a ginormous water bottle. Holds a lot of water, but the spout is bigger than I think it should be for her. But if she's getting water out of it, I guess I won't complain. She looks like she is. She's such a sweetheart. And Augie's leaks. I don't like that. But anyway, back to this here. Then we got ground carrots, which is not bad. But again, it's not the first ingredient on the list. So the further down on the ingredient list, list the less there is ground beets sunflower oil and cellulose these are not good treats and honestly i steer clear of treats like this anyway to them veggies are their treats they get super excited over the veggies she gets super excited over the hay you know it doesn't have to be special like this and full of crap for them to enjoy it so um, so these, they will not be getting. This is another thing that makes me cringe. Um, it says it's papaya, which would be fine, except for the fact that it has so much, um, food coloring in here, like dyes. 
It's not natural flavor. It's not natural coloring. There's dry. Why couldn't it just remain dried papaya? We've got yellow number five, yellow number six, red number 40, you know, all these things that they should not have. So again, bad, 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 bad things. They will not be getting these. I know you want them though, <laughs> but nope, not for you. I almost got excited about these things, but I read the back. It says encourages your pet's natural instinct to chew. A healthy source of trace minerals for small pets helps reduce pet boredom, which is great. But you look on the back, look at the ingredients. Artificial flavoring or artificial coloring in there again. We've got blue number three, yellow number five, blue number one, red number 40. We don't want this. So this isn't even opened and I don't want to give it to them. They can satisfy their boredom and their chewing with these natural sticks. She was apparently getting vitamin C drops that you can put in food or water. And I'm sorry, my phone keeps cutting me off. I don't know why. But so this is practically full. So we can use this. Um, another thing that they gave me, which I'm, un I'm confused about, is this ointment. It says it's for dogs. For dermatolo dermatologic use on dogs. Um, but it says exotic here. But it says for caramel. And this is not caramel. This is lily. So I'm confused. They did say she had spurs or something on her feet. And maybe that's what this is for. But I really didn't get um, instructions on this. Like why she, you know, I don't know how long she's had this. Looks like back in March. So I don't know. And the thing is, it's not even got her name on it. So again, I'm confused. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm just going to hang on to this. I might message them and be like, okay, is this really for Lily? Um, I don't know. I'll have to try and take a look at her feet, which is going to be easier than taking a look at Augie's feet. But anyway, so the bag had, and it's got things in it like dishes and stuff like that. And one thing that I, I can wash, she's got this bed. Like, it's dirty, and so we'll give that a cleaning, and she can have that. But, so that's what they came, what came in her bag, in this little thing, which will help the floor. But, yeah, so many things in here that were not good for them. Hi, Ox. Lily's eating hay. Best part. The best healthy part. Really? Really? He's not... Ah! That was my finger, you little turd. Okay. He's not as gung-ho ab about hay as she is. But he loves his veggies. She loves her hay. Either way... <laughs> But yeah, so just a little bit of talking about things that are not good for guinea pigs and things that are. I still need to make some changes. I do need to buy some more fleece so that they have clean fleece to be put under to, or words escape me, um, so that I could put fleece down that's clean while I clean this fleece. But, uh, yeah, other than that, things seem to be going well. Right, Lils? I really need to have a, a enclosure built that's raised up off the ground that's sturdy and secure to withstand Brinley, keep them safe. So I don't have to be down on my hands and knees on the floor. 
It would just make things so much easier. But I'm not good with woodworking, so if I could find someone to build me a nice enclosure for these two. Oh, popcorns! I'll be all over it. Are you popcorning? Are you popcorning? Popcorning, Lily. I wish I could put them together, but uh, we don't want Lily to get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> but at least they can talk to each other and they can see each other and cut down on some of that boredom. Anyway, that's about it, you guys.